Oh, your mic's off. Here, yeah, there we go. <laughs> Can you hear me? Yes, I can. How are you? Oh, I'm fine. How about you? I'm doing fine. Thank you. So what we're going to do is we're going to talk for 10 minutes. And then the last five minutes, I'll give some feedback. Um, so I'm excited to hear a little bit about you. So tell me about yourself. Where are you from and what is your first language? Uh, okay. Uh, I'm from Brazil. My name is Legilson, but you can call me Led. It's easier. Uh, and uh, what else you will ask it for me? Uh, where I'm from, my name, and? Um, your first language, that would be Portuguese, hey? Ah, yes, yeah. Brazilian Portuguese, yeah. Okay, cool. I like that. Um, and how long have you been learning English? For a long time already, because I started on uh, um, high school, and uh, now I'm just making some classes with a uh, uh, teacher. I was doing some classes because my teacher uh, is pregnant, so she stopped it. Then now I'm doing no, no classes, okay. <laughs> just with TikTok and Instagram and my channel. Other things. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, that's cool. Um, I feel saying I will talk with you because I just watch your videos in TikTok, so it's it's crazy. It's good. It's funny. I'm glad you're here. Um, is there anything that you'd like to talk about in particular? Uh, well, I'm uh, trying to improve my English for uh, trying to find jobs. Uh, abroad like in USA, Europe, Canada. So I'm trying to improve it even more my English. Uh, I improve it uh, already a little bit, but uh, of course we can always do better. So yeah. That's cool. Do you know which uh, which country you would like to go to if you had your first choice? Uh, I think uh, maybe USA or some in Europe, like uh, Portugal, S Spain, I think. <laughs> well, Portugal, because then they speak uh, Portuguese. Yeah, um, yeah, it would be easier for me. But yeah, as I told them, uh, searching for improving my, for my English. <laughs> cool. And do you speak Spanish as well? Um, a little bit because uh, I can understand many of, of, of the things, and uh, but sometimes it's uh, hard for me to speak in Spanish <laughs> because it's very similar to, to Portuguese. So it's uh, it's uh, good for me for understanding. Mm -hmm. I agree. I used to work in like a very touristic place in my last city. And there was a lady that came from Porti, uh, Por uh, Brazil, <clears throat> and uh -huh. she and she was speaking to me because um, she's like looking for like a, a waterproof jacket, and I'm like I understand her, but I'm like so I spoke to her in Spanish because I was like she's not speaking uh -huh. Spanish, but like I understand her. So then she responded in Portuguese. Uh -huh. I spoke in Spanish, and then after I was like, "How come we understand each other?" But I know you're not speaking Spanish, and she's like, uh -huh. "You know, Brazilian Portuguese." <laughs> yeah, it's very similar for, for sure. Yeah, it is very similar. Um, what would you say is your biggest your biggest challenges uh, when learning a language or when learning English? Um, sometimes understanding um, other people, like uh, for example, how can I say? Uh, some Indians, for example, they say in English, but uh, with a uh, accent. So sometimes it's hard for understanding them. And uh, of course, uh, in uh, other, for example, other countries too, uh, people that are, aren't are native to English, it's sometimes uh, sometimes hard for understanding them. And uh, of course, uh, sometimes it's hard uh, for understanding native uh, people that uh, talk in English too. But just sometimes <laughs> i think it's better for me understanding people people that is native uh, than that don't 
is native. People who are native and people who aren't native. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. Cool. Oh, that's really cool. Um, it is hard when like uh, you speak to someone in English and they have an accent, and if you English is not your first language, it's hard. Yeah, it is hard. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, I need to always to say, uh, I'm sorry. Can you say again? Uh, so two, three, four times, and they keep asking, and I can't understand what they are saying. So I need to ask to type down for understand what they are asking. Mm -hmm. And when you talk to people, like you said, you talk to people from India, is it in call centers? Uh, yeah, because it's a uh, uh, IT area. So it's many people from India there. So many times we talk with them. Yeah, no, it's like that in Canada too, like uh, a lot of our IT staff are like from India, like from different organizations that I work uh, with. Yeah, <laughs> that's cool. I, yeah, I, I watch uh, many, many videos from Canada with people from India that is from IT area that is living there. So it's many, many people from India. <laughs> yeah, a popular, uh, popular thing to say, yeah. though, I think, in India. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. Correctly, I'm mean, I'm mean working from from Brazil uh, for a company in Brazil, but uh, my goal is to find a company abroad, like I told USA, Canada, and Europe. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. <clears throat> I would say I would say Canada is better than the United States. That's just my opinion. <laughs> You're like United States <laughs> or Canada? I like Canada. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um. Okay, I have a question for you because I like getting feedback on what people want to see more of on YouTube. What kind of video or subject would you like me to do a video on regarding English or moving to Canada and living to Canada? What would be a question you would like me to answer? You want to know? Uh, uh... What is better for me? What uh, is if it's video or moving to Canada? I I think I did not get better. Well, the question. Sorry. Uh, uh, I did not get well. What you ask it? Uh, can you say again? In yep. other words, maybe. Um. So I I make videos on YouTube, right? Mm -hmm. And I'm looking for ideas. Um, what is an idea or like, yeah, what's, a, what do you think is a good idea for a video? Like mm -hmm. if you're like, Ooh, I want to know this. Can you make a video? What would be the question? Does that make sense? Mm, yeah. Okay. Uh, let me see. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, an idea for a video, I think. Yeah. Or something uh, okay. that you want to learn. Uh, maybe conversations uh, with me, like in different areas, like IT services and, and things like that. For example, maybe conversations in, like, say, let's say, on our daily tasks. For example, uh, IT services, and uh, I think that's it. Conversations, uh, how to speak, uh, something, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right, I wrote that down. So thank you, obrigada, Led. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> I know how to say thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna start. It's been ten minutes. I'm gonna start the feedback. Is that okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Um, so I'm gonna start with pronunciation. Um, I'm also going to repost this on my YouTube. So if you want to hear the feedback again, it, it is recorded. Um, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Okay, I think I have it. So pronunciation, you said this word. Um, can you see it? Abroad, yeah. Yeah, so it's like, mm -hmm. uh, I, I thought I heard abroad, but it's abroad. Can you repeat abroad? Abroad. Uh, mm -hmm. Abroad. Okay. Good. Um, next, you for most English speakers, like everyone, 
um, English speakers, English learners, when we make mistakes, we will repeat the same mistakes over and over. So sometimes what I'm about to say to you now, if you correct it, you eliminate so many pronunciation mistakes. Um, so I'm going to write three words. This happened more than three times, but once you see the trend, uh -huh. um, you'll be able to. Sometimes uh, we don't not see that we say again and again the same. Oh, we always <laughs> do. Yeah, we always do say the same things over and over. So uh, I heard you say ask it and it's not asked it's to mm -hmm. so asked can you say that that's it uh -huh. yeah and then it's not it it's st so stopped mm -hmm. again okay stop stopped stop it stop stop it mm -hmm. no stopped. i hear stop, stop it. it stopped stop it <laughs> yeah so stopped so if you practice like put Stopped. It's stopped. Yeah, like, like you're, that. Like you're beatboxing, yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. And then same thing with improved. Well, not the same. It's close. It's with a D, though. So improved. Improved. Yeah, so not improving. Improved, improved. yeah. And I actually mm -hmm. did um, a video. Do you want me to link every, the video for you? Every English teacher English teachers, uh, says about that for Brazilians uh, because of the end on the end of the each word. I don't know if you talk it uh, already with uh, an, uh, a Brazilian, but we will see again this mistake about the pronunciation. Yeah, and you said I don't know if you talk it, talk it, talked. Talk it, talk, <laughs> talk it again. Yeah, talk. Good. And I'm actually going to um, I'm gonna have to see if I can find a video. So I have a whole playlist, actually. Um, I think I have your email when you sign up. I'm just gonna yeah, yeah, yeah. I got some some news in my email. Can I send you an email with links that are personalized for some of um, the things? Yeah, sure. Okay, I'll do it later because my sure. computer's not working. So I'll send you the links after for the. The past tense videos um which will help you mm -hmm. like i'll say the word and then you have to guess if it's id d or t um there. Mm -hmm. so, so that one next i'm going to go with um english mistakes <laughs> um <Okay. laughs> so when i asked you not ask it asked <laughs> when i asked you yeah. um when you started started it started learning english you said i started i think i think you said on high school mm -hmm. i started on high school yeah there's a mistake do you know where it is oh uh, they started started no nope. started no nope. i started at at high school in yeah, so in so i started in, uh, in high school, school. yeah uh -huh. okay and then um i'm gonna write down another one i was And you said I was doing some classes. Doing some, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, what is uh, the mistake? Is there a mistake? Yep. It was. So. In English, we mm, classes. Uh, it's about the classes or about uh, the past, for example. It's this. Was doing. It's this one right here. I did some classes, maybe. No. I was doing. Okay. In English, we take classes. Ah, we take classes. Yeah. Mm, I was okay. taking some classes, or you could say I took classes if it's like you. Like mm -hmm. if you're saying I was taking classes when my teacher got pregnant, okay. But in general, you could say I took some classes. Took classes. Yeah. Mm. Because in in Brazil, we say. Take is to to grab, take something, 
grab something. Uh, and doing for us is uh, was making, was doing. So sometimes it's, I get confused about that. <laughs> confused. Confused. <laughs> yeah. And that's okay. It's because not everything directly translates, right? So I speak other languages I know. Sometimes I'll direct translate. And it's like, nope. <laughs> so we take yeah. classes if we are receiving it. Uh, we give classes so I can give classes. Um, but I can make classes if I create them. Like I'm like, mm -hmm. I'm preparing. Yeah. Uh, take some of that. It's okay. Yeah, so we take classes. Um, I asked where you wanted to go. So you said maybe in, well, first you said the United States, then you said Canada, but you said uh, United States or some in Europe. Some in Europe. Europe. Um, or some in Europe. Somewhere in Europe. Or somewhere. Oh, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So or somewhere in Europe. Some place in Europe. Yeah, or some place in Europe, exactly. Mm -hmm. um, something I heard you say maybe four or five times. Again, like I said, when we make mistakes, it's it's repetitive. You said, mm -hmm. I'm going to write it down and then I'll say it. Okay. You said it's hard for understanding. It's hard, uh, it's hard for understanding. Uh -huh. uh, is there a mistake too, I think? <laughs> yeah. So in English, we'll say something is hard or easy or fun to... It's hard to understand it. Understand. So. Understand. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's like an infinitive. So it's hard plus infinitive. So it's but hard... Understanding would not be correct because it's present continuous, for example. Present continuous. Present continuous, but oh, because you're thinking it's understanding. Uh, it's hard. It's hard for understanding. To okay. present continuous, maybe no. Mm, I think you no, know, it doesn't sound right. I'm trying to think of the grammatical explanation. Mm -hmm. Um, but in English, we'll say it's hard to do something. It's hard to play hockey. It's Fun to talk to friends. So it's adjective mm -hmm. to and then the verb. Does that make sense? Okay. Okay. Got it. I'm having yeah. I don't know what <laughs> I don't know the official um explanation for it, but yeah, it's hard to whenever you do two, two. there's no ing. So it's hard to understand. Hard to understand. Okay. Um Got it. you're very well. <laughs> um and the last one. No panic, last one. Okay. Um, Not panic. <laughs> no panic. Um, can you say again? Can you say again? Can we repeat again? Can you say again? Oh, yeah. So you say, can you say it again? Okay. Or can, can you repeat? Can say it again? Can we repeat? Yeah. So can, can you, you say it again? Yeah. Or? Mm -hmm. Can you repeat? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and then if you're with friends, okay. you might hear people say, come again, like, tell me again, what, come again. <laughs> but most people okay. don't understand unless they're English. So if someone told me something, you'd be like, come again, like, what did you say? <laughs> um, good. So do you have any, pardon? Really strange. Really strange, like, come again, it's strange, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it doesn't really make sense.